Hey, Eric here from Dr. Scooter, the home of electric scooters and electric bikes in the UK. And I want to introduce to you the Mia 4, a pattern designed by Mia Dynamics, created carefully over a four year period to bring you the best quality electric vehicle on the market. Let's have a look at the scooter itself, right? We have two grips on the sides. We have hydraulic brakes for front and rear with lock mechanisms, which I will show you how to use exactly later on. A bell here, which is an option for this scooter, but other scooters do have an electric horn. On here, we have a control panel. It's an on and off button and plus and minus, which plus will take you up into speed and then minus will take you down into speed. Over here is a little menu option, which when you double press, just like that, will take you into the settings. And I'll go through these later on exactly, but these are just little specs that you can just change up. And here is a reverse button which will take you into reverse. And on this side, very conveniently, exactly next to your thumb, a throttle so you can control the speeds. Here at the bottom itself, we have a small lock mechanism, which will take you up in height or down in height, depending on how tall you are. The stem has a slick aerodynamic design accentuated by two reflectors on both sides and bright LED lights. Over here, we have a folding mechanism, which you just take this and lift it up and you have your scooter folded in half. The scooter is equipped with 15 inch tubeless tires, a hydraulic braking system, double wishbone suspension supported by a shock absorbers and stabilizer joints. The platform is made of a light solid plastic wide enough to fit both of your feet comfortably. Over here, we have a small key that opens up the battery compartment. The battery is easily removable, just like this, plug it out. It's very easy to carry at only six kilograms. You can plug it straight into your house. Any household socket is fine. Plug is right here, charge it up. And this is an IP68 rated battery, the same as the controller and the display on the scooter yourself. Conveniently placed at the back is a light braking system for people to see when you're riding in the night. Also underneath this little cover, we can add a seat to ride more comfortably or you can add a trailer that we create specially so you can put any extra storage that you have. The back is where the magic happens. This scooter is equipped with two powerful 1000 watt motors and similarly to the front, it's equipped with double wishbone suspension, a shock absorbers, hydraulic system and mud guards. Let's have a look at some measurements. For reference, I'm 5 foot 9. The scooter is 52 inches in height and 52 inches in length. The width of the scooter is 30 inches from one tire to the next. It has a ground clearance of 6 inches. The board is 28 inches long and 15 inches wide. On its max height, it can go up to 56 inches in height. And about the lock mechanism, it's super simple. Squeeze the brakes and click on a switch. Uphill or downhill, don't stress, you can still park it. So over here, when you double press, you get into the menu settings. You have your brightness, your clock, your system, auto off, auto on, um, the wheel size on there, advanced settings, your battery life, uh, factory settings, which will put it down to the default settings, a password. So if you want to lock it up, you can put a password for it. Different information on the scooter, the screen direction, if you want to put the screen from uh, horizontal to vertical, and then exit. It's time to test the Mia 4. I've driven this a few times, and I'm going to give you my full impression on it. Let's talk about the ride. Very comfortable, easy to use. As soon as I turn it on, with a single press of the throttle, I'm gone. It took me about five minutes of riding to get used to the handling, and I love how stable it feels. We can actually lock the suspension to use on the roads, but I prefer the suspension open. It allows me to go on the trails wherever I need to, and if there is an uneven road, I will pump for the thing. Speed-wise, fast acceleration, smooth takeoff, same handling even at higher speeds. We have been riding for about 20 minutes and we are still at 99% battery. It's a convenient scooter, you can even go on the cycle lane. What more do you need from a scooter? Except fast and responsive acceleration, long range battery, smooth handling even on rough terrains.
you get about 28 miles per hour max speed. You can limit it as well. It's 31 miles total range in a single charge, which is really amazing for a scooter this powerful and with a small lightweight battery. The scooter has a powerful torque of 1000 watt motors. I even reached 28 miles per hour less than 250 meters. And you can even take it downstairs. It's not the most comfortable riding down, but if you must, just be careful not to fall down like I did. On flat roads, it's easy to handle, but I do have to say, the turning angles are something you have to get used to. So if you're coming from riding bikes or electric scooters, just keep a note to that. So we've ridden already about 30 miles and it's time to charge up the battery. This is a 60 volt, 20 amp per hour battery. We'll be using a standard charger, which usually takes up to eight hours to fully charge. But we also have a fast charger option, which is about four hours charge. Oh, and just a reminder, this is an ip 60 rated battery. I hope you enjoyed our show review on the Mia 4. This product is only available at Dr. Scooter. For more content and reviews like these, follow us at Dr. Scooter UK. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later.